Hey everyone and welcome to the video. So today we're taking a look at tvOS 14.3. So this has actually been out for a little while now, but I just haven't had a chance to actually make a video on it. So the major things that actually came to tvOS 14.3 obviously was Apple Fitness Plus, uh, the bundle for Apple One, and then the biggest thing for me, the reason for me making this video, is they finally listened and they've created their own tab in Apple TV, the actual app itself. So the other two, to be perfectly honest, I'm not really that bothered about. Um, Fitness Plus isn't something that I would basically subscribe to. Um, it's not something that I'm interested in at all. The bundle, I did actually have a quick look at it, but basically it's just throwing in stuff that I don't actually need. Um, so that once again, whilst it's a, it's a good deal if you're subscribing to basically everything, it's not something that I'm really interested in. So what we'll do is we'll come across and my biggest gripe with the Apple TV Plus app in the past was the fact that you basically came into this so you had like all of these kind of different things showing up and basically it was it was long-winded in terms of how you had to get to the the original stuff essentially so now what they've done is they've created this app, uh this tab this extra one so originally what you would have had along the top here was watch now you would have had movies tv shows kids library and then the search icon whereas now they've actually given us the apple tv icon apple tv plus icon so once you come into here basically you've got obviously any of your new ones scroll along the top and similar thing here and then you've got if you go further down you've got like your actual section so obviously these are all your tv shows they've separated out comedies and then your feature films so these are all the the actual movies that they've um brought out themselves and out of all of these um i'd probably say the banker was quite good um it was a pretty decent movie i think greyhound is probably the best movie um and the best bit of content that they've actually brought in, in that side of things. I've not actually watched a lot of these other ones. They're not things that basically interest me. Um, in the TV series, Defending JP was very good. So if you haven't seen that, watch that. Same with Servant. Amazing Stories, that's kind of a little bit more childish, so I didn't really get um, through very many episodes of that. Basically, um, the only time I used it was literally when I was just testing stuff out for audio and visual, things like that. The morning show was okay. Uh, Truth Be Told, once again, was okay. Uh, for All Mankind, it was a little long-winded and not much really happened in it. But in terms of the visual and the audio side of things, it was it was quite good. And I think C, which was, I think this is the one that they actually kind of sold the the whole premise on this was very very good and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the second season of that so it was a good start by then um obviously there's a few shows that i've not really started watching um this is your stereotypical um sort of uh tv series that i'll watch it and i'll, I'll make um make my mind up about that but looking at it, it it seems very stereotypical in terms of what what they're projecting there. In terms of content wise, I think it was a good start by Apple TV. Um, actually, coming down to these ones, so Myth Mythic Quest I really liked, um, just because of it's more on the geeky, geeky kind of side of things. Um, Ted Lasso, I've not actually started watching it. Um, I've, I've kind of feared that this would be more, um, it's too Americanized, so it's American kind of projection of what football it is is actually like but at the end of the day is a comedy series so i'll probably probably watch that obviously the thing about most of these shows i don't know if if we come into this uh yeah so you can see just there the run time is only 30 minutes so i think that's that's because of that you can fly through some of these shows quite quickly now for anybody that was actually subscribed to apple tv plus um from the original year so basically if you bought any iPhone or certain other devices um, in 2019, you actually got one year free of Apple TV Plus. That's that's how I actually have this. And what they did do was because obviously the lack of content coming through, they did actually extend everybody's through till the end of March, I believe. What I'm guessing is that just around about the end of February, start of March, we're going to start to see the uh, second season of all these shows start to drop. Where are they gone? So just these ones. So we'll probably see the second season of C, For All Mankind, The Morning Show, um, and probably not Defending JP because I'm pretty sure that's done, but Servant will probably have the second season dropped as well. Now, whether that's enough to actually keep subscribing to the particular series, we'll have to wait and see. But the one thing I do like is 
and originally they didn't do this recently obviously they have done it to an extent where there's not a lot of filler content so unlike Amazon Prime and Netflix to a massive extent um, they have these massive libraries of content but you don't want to watch any any of it because well most of it because it's all garbage um, some of the recent movies that have come out on Netflix have been absolutely atrocious like yeah they might have supposedly A-list actors but what the content that you're actually getting um, was very poor so that's kind of what I'm hoping Apple continue to do where um, rather than just giving us loads of stuff just give us enough but make it um, make it good so this is one that I am actually looking forward to foundation this ad advert was put up or the trailer was put up um, I believe it was the June event um, it, it might have been one of the other ones, but I believe they put up the foundation trailer. Um, I, I'm not going to play it because I don't want to get no copyright strikes or anything like that. But obviously there's, there's, there's still things coming, so we'll have to wait and see whether it's worth actually um, upgrading to that. Now, for those of you who've watched my channel for a long time, you'll know the thing that I care about is HomeKit. So if we come into basically the home sort of shortcut in Control Center, as you can see, they still haven't given us um, control over actual devices so they've given us scenes and they've given us cameras which work very well I'm not going to do it now because I've changed some of my cameras around um, but as you can see that is a live image so if I just ex bring that up as you can see it's it's working really well now in terms of switching between the cameras um, this is obviously a battery camera but as you can see that's how quickly it actually loads up one click and sometimes it yeah there we go so sometimes it does it can glitch out where it is actually showing you a live image but the live kind of icon in the bottom right hasn't quite popped up yet but generally the, the cameras are very very fast in order to actually bring up a, a live stream so in that sense very good um but unfortunately they haven't actually given us device control just yet um, i think the more people that request it um the better chance we actually have of actually getting that and that's something that i think would actually take the apple tv to another level in terms of making it much more integrated with with HomeKit and making it a more more essential uh, device to actually purchase. Now I'm pretty sure we are going to be seeing a new Apple TV soon. Um, main reason for that is because they're, they're actually starting to push the boundaries of what they want to do in terms of the home hub and all, all the rest of it and for me right now um, this particular device I think will be limited in one major way especially with AirPods Max coming out and this particular Apple TV at the moment I don't know whether they can do this with a software update or not but it doesn't support spatial audio as far as I'm aware and that for me is a big big um, letdown for the current Apple TV if they can do it with a software update then that's great and obviously that solves that whole issue but if they can't then they need to actually bring out another uh, Apple TV for the simple reason that obviously I've got a 7.1.4 system here I really like my audio um, so that's one thing I'm really looking forward to with the Air AirPods Max. Um, the fact that you can get that extra little low end rumble and the definition and the separation of the channels. Uh, for most people out there, they're not going to be having this setup. At most, most people go with 2.1 or 3.1 systems. If they're really going to stretch their budget, they might go for a 5.1 system. But it's very rare for people to actually have full 7.1, 7.4 um, 7.1.4 kind of setups that's why obviously something like spatial audio can literally bring um, that sort of immersion obviously it's never going to be able to match separate speakers but from my early testing with the airpods pro i was very very impressed by how well it actually worked and i'm hoping that the airpods max actually extend upon that but yeah that's that's basically my thoughts on tvos 14.3 um, it has obviously given us one major improvement um, in the sense of giving us that separate tab which just gets rid of all the all the, the junk that I don't want to actually see. Um, hopefully we see more coming. Um, I'm, I know they already have betas for iOS 14.4 um, right up to 14.4.4 so obviously they're still working on other features whether that comes to the tvOS platform as well because they don't always um, line up um, but usually whenever they update all of these things in recently what i've found is generally apart from the watch which seems to be i believe one derivative 
behind so i believe the watch is on 7.2 7 at the moment yeah so the watch is currently on watch os 7.2 but generally the tv os and ios tend to line up quite well so obviously at the moment the major um universal kind of uh release is 14.3 for iphones on ios and it's also 14.3 for tvos as well so as i say a little little bit of an improvement and one thing that i was really looking forward to with the separate tab hopefully they can keep that content coming and actually make it worthwhile and make make it useful for it anyway that's that's it for this video let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below if you haven't already done so please do subscribe to the channel currently 90 percent of my viewers are actually subscribed to the channel so hit that subscribe button also hit the bell icon that way you won't miss out on any new videos and other than that thanks very much for watching